noise. Yeah. Okay, I'm just recording because this is. Oh my gosh, that's a big cannon. And those are the shows I use. I'm literally at a. What's this place called? Port of Los Angeles. Yeah, the Port of Los Angeles. So, off to my left over here, this is Lance Couple Knight, military working dog JoJo. Over, over here to my right side, I have Corporal Budo and military working dog Nero. And off to the side, we have our decoy, and that's Corporal Bodine. So today we're just going to give you guys a quick rundown on what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, training these dogs and keeping them to the level that we need to be. So right now both handlers are giving their dogs basic obedience commands. This is the basic foundational level of what we do to advance the dogs to further stages uh, in their training. And you can see both handlers have some type of toy that the dog prefers. It really just depends on each dog. Just like people, when the dogs do the task correctly, they're expecting some type of paycheck, right? So we go to work, we expect at the end of the month that we're getting a paycheck. So for these dogs, whenever they do the task correctly, they get that toy and that's the reward. So you can see even though it's work and it's training for these dogs, we try to keep everything fun. Lots of love, lots of play from the handlers. That's what the dogs crave in the end. All right, great job, guys. Let's give it up for the handlers and their dogs. Yeah. So both the dogs we have out here today are called Patrol Explosive Detection Dogs. What that means is they're certified in both aggression, which is like bite work, you've probably seen it on TV before, as well as explosive detection for a myriad of military grade, as well as homemade explosives. They've seen a lot of use in Iraq and Afghanistan, both as non-lethal and also as that uh, very crucial counter IED measure. So right now we're gonna showcase that patrol side, that aggression. When we're doing the initial training for these dogs, we start off with something called the five phases. So Lance Corporal Bodine over here, he's gonna be our decoy for the day. The first phase is called the field interview. What that is, it's replicating an individual approaching the handler and his dog. He's making contact and conversation with him and then returning to where he was. This is something that we're gonna experience on a day-to-day -day basis, whether we're uh, working a beat or we're at LA Fleet Week and people wanna go up and touch our dogs. We don't want our dogs getting aggressive towards someone unless we absolutely need them to be. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how that works. Hey, Matt, can you go turn your ID real quick? So if you notice, you can tell Nero is, is watching and he's very focused on what's going on with this person, but the individual didn't show any type of aggression, so the dog stayed where he was and uh, remained obedient to the handler. So the next phase is called the pursuit bite. What that is, is if the individual decides to come in and get aggressive towards us, and then he takes off running, the handler's going to go ahead and give that watching command, that release. The dog's going to focus in on the target, and then the, de the handler's going to release the dog on the, on the decoy. Alright, hey man, can you come show me your idea again? I'm not feeling it. Hey, oh, it's the dog! Let's go! Oh, hoo, hoo. Good man! There we go, exactly what we wanted. So you can see, if you, if you look at Masco Bodine, he's not just standing still, he's moving around, he's replicating exactly what someone would be doing if they're getting bit. Making noises and whatnot. All the training that we do, we try to keep it as realistic as possible to what we're expecting in our operational capacity. Go! So you can see how the dog released from the wrap. That's a direct transfer from us working the basic foundations of basic obedience that you saw in the very beginning. So the next phase, third phase, is called the search. So this is replicating if Anna wants to move forward and do a search on this individual here. He's going to go ahead and leave his military working dog behind to protect him just in case that individual decides to get aggressive with him. All right, hey man, I'm going to call out the search of your person. Grab a gun and start aggressive with him. I don't trust your dad. Call me out, please. We'll do that, man. You understand? All right, good. So 
you can tell he really wants to go for it, but luckily Popo Budo's put a lot of work into that obedience, and he's staying where he needs to stay. So now we're going to show you what happens if for some reason this person decides to get aggressive up with us when we go up and do the search. All right, now, let's uh, do the same thing. You understand? I understand. <laughs> so without fail, what we train is these working dogs are their main focus is protection of the handler. So without with or without command from the handler, the dog is automatically go, gonna go and protect him if the individual shows any kind of aggressive manner towards us. Yeah, that's Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so the fourth phase is called the escort. Uh, just due to the uh, room constraints, it's going to be a little difficult to show you, but basically what it is is the military working dog is going to be right behind the individual and they're going to make their way to their patrol vehicle. So we'll run right into the fifth phase, which is called the standoff. So the easiest way to describe this and understand it is if I throw an object at somebody, there's no taking that back. That's going to keep going where it's going. Now, if we send the dog, if we see that the safety of others is compromised or the dog is going to go around a blind corner, we have that option to recall that dog and to stop him mid-pursuit before he compromises any safe, anybody's safety. For example, if this individual took off and he ran into a crowd or a group of kids or something like that, we can stop our military working dog before he gets to that point and hurts anybody else. <laughs> so you can see Nero did what he was supposed to do, so the reward was the release command of yes, and now he gets to play on the rap. Everything that we do is always fun. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Got his arm. All right, guys, so like I said, everything that we do or that we showed you here today was like a basic foundational level. So now we're gonna get to be kind of an example of how we would advance that further. So we're gonna do a bite, but this time we're gonna put a barrier in place to kind of simulate maybe like a jersey barrier or a dog jumping through a window to catch a decoy on the other side. I'm also gonna be making use of something called a, an aggression whip. Basically, it's just to get a little more agitation out of the dog, and that way when he comes over, he's got a lot more aggression. Watch him over, pay attention, pay attention, watch over there. Over here, over here, over here. Watch him, but pay attention over there. supporting our little section right here. As of right now, that concludes our demonstration. We will be running every two hours, so at noon, I'll go ahead and announce you guys can come on back and watch again. Feel free to stick around and ask any questions you may have afterwards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. So it's what van. Awesome wheels, bulletproof uh, glass. I'm going to go inside. Is it right if I come inside?
comfy seats. It's just where they shoot out of, right? Mm -hmm. No, 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 let it go, let it go, let it go. Hello, Grandma. Hello. Hello. Bye. 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 So I'm gonna put this down. Can't barely see because my phone's at like 14% right now, but it's called Iowa. Nice. This is awesome. Missed it. Since September 11th, 2000, at Point Magoo, using MH-65 Dolphin helicopters, these men and women stand ready to support maritime search and rescue operations off our coast. Rapid response is a key element to preserve life and our demonstration of the capability of the MH-65 will illustrate how they do this. Thank you for allowing them to be part of Los Angeles Fleet Week. We look forward to continuing to serve. This is the side of a helicopter. What's that? I'm just making a video. Oh, okay. This is really cool. What's up, dude? How's it going? Having fun? Alright. Clock hey, hit. Any questions? It's really cool. Copyright music in the background. That little window right there, that's where they look out of. Nice. It's a lot of wires. That, no wonder why I didn't want us in here. It's a lot of wires. Awesome. It's rough ride, huh? Oh, yeah. It's not for the drivers. Really cool grenade launcher. Yeah, whenever we do training, we're going to put the backpacks and just stick here on all this. There's one right there. Ah, the sun is killing me. phone too. I'm gonna get a video of them touching down.
Nice. Oh, wait, there's one more. Yeah. All right, well, that's it. And yeah.